Hi, Indonesia. It's Ian from the band Churches. Check out our exclusive interview on creativedisc.com, the number one music website in Indonesia. Hi, CD lovers. Welcome back on exclusive interview with us on creativedisc.com. And today we are so honored to talk with one of the personals of Churches. We have Ian here. Hi, Ian. Hi, Loretta. How are you? Hi. We're great. How are you? <laughs> Not bad, thank you. I hope this <laughs> Wi-Fi connection is stable enough and you can hear me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can still hear you. Well, by the way, uh, I'm so glad because this is my second interview with Churches back in eight years ago with Mark. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had this opportunity to talk with you, Ian. It's so good to have you here today. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah. So how 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 is churches doing right now? Like do, during this pandemic, it's very frustrating for everyone. Everyone. It's yeah. It is. It's frustrating for everyone. It's a it's a very strange thing to be suddenly locked away in your in your home and told that you can't leave. You know, it's not anything mm-hmm. that any of us have experienced. I don't think it in our lifetime. So it presents many problems for. Um, people who tend to need to be together uh, to to work you know especially uh, you know with with churches we've pretty much been together whenever we've written music so this was it took us quite a long time to figure out a method of of sort of collaborating um, remotely Uh, but we figured it out um, and we we managed to make an album um, over over zoom uh, uh, somehow I don't know how we managed it but um, but it turned out to be, I think, some of the best music that we've ever made together. Um, so we're really looking forward to sharing that with with you. When uh, it, well, hopefully in the next in the next few months, we'll we'll have some more music out for you to hear. Yeah, hopefully, because oh, I guess you sum up uh, of some of my question too. But that's all right. I'm gonna ask you about. <laughs> Can um, I ask it again? You know. <laughs> It's all right. Well, also been three years since 2018 after the Love mm-hmm. Is Dead LP, and then uh, mm-hmm. your uh, latest single in 2019, the Dutch Trending, something like that. Um, now we can listen and enjoy to Church's latest music called "He Said, She Said." Right? Um, what makes you guys think that it's time for us to return? It's time for us to be productive again. Well, actually, um, all of our albums have sort of, there's always been a sort of like two and a half to three year gap between our albums because we tend to like, because we, we tend to do everything ourselves. So we, we write and uh, produce and, and record it all ourselves. So once that's kind of ready to go, then we sort of have to learn how to play it live. And then we go out and tour the world. And that tends to take about 18 months to two years, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and and then and then we sort of get back to the, the rhythm of, OK, it's studio time and then we make an album and then everything starts all over again. So it just so happened that we just finished um, touring Love is Dead at the end of 2019. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, okay, let's take a couple of months off and uh, start writing. And then all of a sudden, the the pandemic hit. Um, so we were re- we were in a place where we were ready to start writing anyway, as part of the cycle of what we normally do. Uh, mm-hmm. So it really, the pandemic hasn't really changed the timing of that much. Um, maybe a mm-hmm. little bit. It's, it's maybe a little bit later than we were hoping. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, generally that's that tends to be the rhythm of things. So. Uh, we did this album in, in lockdown last year over Zoom, and then we got together. I flew over to LA in October to yeah. see the other two, Martin and Lauren, and uh, and then we mixed the album. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's sounding good. It's sounding good. So now we're ready to start letting people hear things, which is great. Working remotely from maybe mm. different continents, like Martin's in LA right now, right? And you're in Scotland, mm-hmm. and Lauren is in <laughs> London? What? Is, no, she's is- in LA too seasonality how difficult for you guys to you know manage the time zone and you know oh my doing God. all this hard work thing. i can imagine it's oh it's terrible it's yeah it was difficult it was difficult it basically meant there was only really one time in the day that worked for everyone yeah. and that was sort of like eight o'clock p.m here which is like right. their noon in la yeah. so all of all of the sessions happened in my evenings which uh which you know it presented some problems, let's say, but uh, mm-hmm. 
we uh, we worked through it and we found a good rhythm that worked for everyone. Um, uh, but the, yeah, the time zone thing actually is the hardest thing is the hardest thing to manage. But um, uh, but we did it, and and now it's looking like things are starting to ease up. So when it comes to working together again, hopefully we'll we'll be able to be all in the same place and all in the same time zone, and things will be a lot easier. Yeah. So speaking of the single itself, like we can uh, hear to some of more of the 80s synth, of course, still the electropop that I really love from churches. And what type of uh, music, addition, additional music arrangement that churches put on this single or maybe in the next singles on upcoming album? Very good question. Could probably talk talk about this for an hour. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can tell. But, uh, yeah, but they, uh, yeah, he said, she said was the first song that we actually wrote when we sort of came back together to start making mm -hmm. new music. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Lauren and, and Martin started that in LA together, and then they okay. sent it over to me, and then uh, and then we started sort of working working together on it um, over Zoom. Uh, but yeah, I think in terms of the production, yes, it still has the sort of trademark churches elements, like the right. kind of, as you say, the sort of analog 80s sense. But I think it has a little bit more of a hard, uh, like a more hard uh, hip hop, modern hip hop sort of production in terms of the bass, uh, the bass sense and the drums. You know, those those feel a little mm -hmm. bit more up to date, I think, than some of the stuff that, that we we've done previously. Um, so in terms of that one, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, I think in terms of the rest of the album and where things are, are going, what you, you're going to hear next, you're going to hear more um, more guitars. You're going okay. to hear um, you're going to hear more of a kind of new wave influence. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, the sort of uh, yeah. So um, so the, there's still the '80s synth elements, but but shot through with a bit more kind of post punk, new wave, more drums, more bass, more guitar, uh, mm -hmm. but still with the sort of synths that you. That you know and love. <laughs> I know. I will definitely love it any church's music since eight years ago. And by the way, uh, will you, <laughs> do you guys have some uh, music collaboration on, on the upcoming album? You, you don't need to spill who's the guest star or <laughs> who's, the, who's the featuring, but are you doing some of uh, featuring projects in it? We are yes. The uh, the next the next single that we're going to put out that you will hear is features a very special uh, guest who happens to be one of our our sort of musical heroes uh, wow. of all time. Um, so wow. we really can't say at this point, but it'll be uh, very soon. You that will be revealed. Um, and and for for us for for us three in the band, it was like the most exciting. Uh, thing that could have possibly happened uh, I don't know how we managed to make it happen but you know yeah. hats off to our man management and everybody involved for uh, for making it happen but uh, yeah we're really super proud of it and can't wait for for you to hear it yeah yeah and we're definitely gonna wait for that tea to spill <laughs> no not long okay. now the tea not will be spilled enough. okay we're waiting and talking about <laughs> returning to the stage or the concert i know the mm -hmm. factions are already uh been done for uh some people maybe you you th did you have your faction already uh, i've had one so far i got it uh, two days ago oh cool um, so, yeah so mm -hmm. i'm waiting waiting for the other one uh maybe in the next couple of months but lauren and martin have both had uh, both of their vaccinations so i guess things must be moving a bit faster in la than they are in, in scotland so uh, i'm jealous because i really want to get out there and see those guys and, uh, and and do some work together in the room and start rehearsing these songs for uh for when we get to play live again you know um mm -hmm. We've we've missed that so much. Uh, yeah. Just seeing people's faces faces and and feeling the energy of, of playing music in a room to people is is you know it's a great loss. But hopefully we'll get back there soon. So what is your first thing that you do on the stage when you you know just say hello to your fans for the first time <laughs> after this whole crazy pandemic? Uh, were you gonna God. shout out or jump in or? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like we'll all just cry <laughs> oh, <laughs> with happiness, you know, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the sense of I think the sense of relief. I mean, because this band and playing playing uh, live is something that we've been doing for 
nearly 10 years now. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it'll be 10 years this summer is when, is when we started writing together, but um, nine years, I guess, since we played our first uh, Churches show. So um, uh, it's really been such a part of our, um, a huge part of our life for, for the last decade. So to suddenly not have that is like, you know, it's really hard to deal with. Um, but when we come back, the, you know, the sense of relief, I think, will probably make us quite emotional. <laughs> right. I know. We're all going to cry all together on a Good. <laughs> I, I can imagine myself. Like, my last church's concert was like, I don't know, it's been too long in Singapore. And I'm like crying at that time. And I wish to watch you guys again on a uh, music festival for in, in Malaysia at that time. But I don't know, it was canceled mm. because of sort of things. And after that, oh, yeah. I couldn't watch churches. It's really frustrating. <laughs> okay. Oh, but, I'm sorry. Yeah. And Indonesia is waiting for you guys very oh, much. Great. We're waiting I can't for wait to church. get back to that part of the world. <laughs> Yeah, so the upcoming album, do you know like in which term of month in this year or maybe in the early of next year will be published or you guys? Oh, it will be, it'll be this year. It'll, I, can't, I can't give you exact dates, but yeah. um, it's going to be sort of, uh, it's going to be this year and it's going to be before winter. <laughs> it's going to be before winter. <laughs> I love Before it. Before winter, yeah. It's, it's going to be quite a bit sooner than that, but I can't say anymore because uh, I'll get yeah. into trouble. <laughs> it's still confidential. We truly understand sure. about that. <laughs> we, like to make, we, we like to make a big announcement, you know? <laughs> right, right. Just like the he said, he said a single just really uh, surprised me. I'm like, oh, what? Chichis is back. I'm like, and now I still couldn't believe that I can talk to you uh, regarding this single that we're going to play over and over again <laughs> so it's 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 very nice. good yeah yeah Thank yeah you. and do you do you, uh is, is lauren wrote this song right can you she wrote the words yeah. yeah yeah can you tell a little bit on what's on lauren's mind when writing for the he should see it sometimes i can wrote the lyrics but uh, i can i can read the lyrics but it's some kind of a confusion of a woman from a men decision. How, what do you know? About? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't like to talk too much to uh, what Lauren means when she's writing because that's really, yeah. that's really up for no. her to, to say. Oh. But um, but what I can, but what I can tell from what she said uh, and from my own interpretation of it is it's, it's very much about um, relationships in the mm-hmm. past with with men, mm-hmm. and uh, and how kind of. And how gaslighting uh, can oh, be a thing, you know, right. and uh, and and just how shitty people can be in uh, in, in relationship situations, you know. Um, so I think that's kind of at the the core of what the song's about. But uh, as usual, she puts like a, a kind of artistic spin on it, which makes th- makes things more colorful, you know. Yeah. Well, there are gonna be more of heartbreak song than a moving song, like some motivated song. <laughs> what do you think? More what heartbreak you songs. Oh, I love it! I love it. Uh, I mean, heartbreak yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think they're not. They're not all about okay, relationships okay. and heartbreak, okay. but there, okay. there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff about uh, about dealing with uh, very complex uh, emotional right. things, especially. Especially given when we wrote when the lyrics were written, you know, which was during the pandemic and things. It's like I don't think there's any actual um, pandemic songs, thank God, because I hate that when you know all of a sudden yeah. people are singing about the pandemic and all we want to do is forget about it. You know, we just want to move yeah. on with our lives. Right. So right. there's there's no pandemic songs. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> mm-hmm. How did you survive in you know struggling this whole frustrating thing during the pandemic? I know it's it really hit us so bad everyone Mm -hmm. and the whole Mm -hmm. entire world and uh, how do you manage yourself to be centered or maybe like keep insanity Mm. that's a that's a really that's been a really difficult thing I think uh, for everyone in the last year is uh, trying to find uh, because I think when all of a sudden you can't go out and interact with people, you maybe can't work, you maybe can't go, well, you certainly can't go to work for, for most people. It seems that um, people have been doing a lot of kind of self-reflection, you know, sort of thinking about 
what it is their life means and what and what it is that they want it to mean uh, and so yeah I guess people have been doing a lot of therapy and uh, you know a lot of meditation oh uh, yeah I did that too <laughs> and, yeah no it's good it's good to as, as, as you say to kind of center your mind and uh, yeah. but I think it's it's been a struggle that none of us uh, anticipated mm-hmm. it would be and uh I think it will be a long time before we really realize the effect mm-hmm. that it's had mm-hmm. on our brains and our, our minds and, and the way that we right. interact with the world. But I, I hope that out of this, there will be a lot of positivity. Um, mm-hmm. You know, a lot of really positive things come from it too, uh, in terms of how we relate to the world and the planet even. Um, so I'm hopeful that we'll have learned lessons as human beings that we will make the world a better place. Yeah, all of that prayer is so heartwarming and call myself right now well thank you Mm. so much for the message and i hope the (laughs) next church's album will just keep us alive and just happy (laughs) to listen on you guys again right well i hope you enjoy it (laughs) any message for your indonesian fans that is already waiting for you guys we love you we miss you um you're some of the greatest churches fans in the world and we absolutely cannot wait to come over to indonesia and uh, and 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 rock out rock you guys yeah play the new tunes uh, it's going to be fun but uh, we can't we can't wait to, to get over well thank you so much for your time Ian, for this special interview i feel very happy i couldn't express it and just <laughs> Yeah, thank you churches you yeah <laughs> your music just done a lot of things to my to my life thank you thank you it's lovely to see take care yeah